Hi, so my name is Dr. Benjamin Perlman, you can call me Ben. Um, I'm a professor here, full-time lecturer at Cal State Long Beach, and we've been studying stingrays for the past year and a half. So one of the uh, first studies that we're uh, basically wrapping up is how do they actually behave when you step on them? What does a strike actually look like? Since one of the most common behavior or common injuries um, here in Southern California at the beach is getting stung by a stingray. So we went and captured some stingrays in the beach, uh, Seal Beach, Belmont Shore, um, a few other locations. We bring them back to the laboratory and then we put them in our filming tank and we basically simulate what happens when you step on them. So we have this zombie foot that uh, my colleague Dr. Chris Lowe uh, got at the Halloween store and I filled it with sand, I stuck a PVC pipe in this and basically epoxied this so it's nice and waterproof and I take this zombie foot, if you will, and we step on different regions of the ray. So we first step on the mid-body and we record with our two high-speed cameras what that behavior looks like. So we're able to then analyze the speed and acceleration that these particular animals generate. And then because we know the mass, the weight of the animal, we can actually calculate the force they generate during a particular strike. So we will lightly step on the mid-body and about 85% of the time, they are actually generating a strike. The other 15-ish percent of the time, they just want to escape. So we were interested, what does it look like when you step on them anywhere other than the mid-body? So if you step on their left side, their right side, or their snout, basically their nose, or even toward the back of the tail, they really just want to escape about 90 plus percent of the time. It's extremely rare you would ever get the uh, stingrays to strike other than the mid-body which is very helpful to know because everybody says do the stingray shuffle and you're going to be safe. Well, now we have some actual numbers to back that up scientifically. It really works. 